Hey folks, Sean here once again with the latest edition of Beer Snobby Goodness. On uh, this edition, I'm going to stick with uh, my Colorado theme that I'm spontaneously doing. Uh, done these guys before, but not for a while. From Edgemont, Colorado, this is Left Hand Brewing Company and their Nitro offering of Braveheart Scotch Style Ale. So, you know, I'm not wearing a kilt under this, but I figured I'd wear my a, a thematically appropriate t-shirt for this particular beer review. Let's see, this is uh, very typical of a scotch style ale. Dark, not completely like inky black dark. It's a very dark brown. Got a residual head. As I like to say in the vernacular, it's uh, a little bit of lacing on, on the glass here, not a whole lot. As usual, I got the uh, got the web set up here. This is um, a seasonal offering from Left Hand Brewing. It's a uh, IBU rating of 25, apparently a medium bodied ale. Comes in uh, either kegs or six packs. And as for the malts, we have Pale Turo, Special B, Munich, C75, C40. I guess they haven't named them yet. Roasted barley, peated barley, and wheat malt. And for the hops, we've got U.S. Goldings, Sterling, and Williamette. A lot of guts in this thing. Taking the aroma. Very pleasant. Kind of an earthy character to that. Let's see. Smells typically scotch ale-like. A um, little sweet, but definitely more of an earthy tone. And uh, without further ado, I'm gonna dive on in. Cheers. Hmm. That is very smooth. Definitely has a nitro infusion. But yeah, it's, um, well, once again, I'm having trouble articulating the flavor a bit. But I'm enjoying it which is ultimately the important thing here. Um, very smooth, velvety mouthfeel to it. You know, not super heavy. Um, almost a little bit of breadiness on the back end. I could be off the mark on this, but I'm even uh, almost a little bit of like you know, fig on the uh, on the back end uh, so far we're definitely enjoying this thing so I'll have to see what i come up with as i get closer to the bottom catch you in a bit this is one i uh i'll admit i wasn't entirely sure when i started drinking it whether or not i was going to be uh impressed by it but i have to say it finishes far better than it starts uh, as the beer warms you get a Solid amount of uh, caramel and toffee flavor, uh, dark fruit, just uh, very, very nice blend of flavors as the beer gets close to room temperature. It's uh, quite good stuff. And that nitro infusion, you know, you've got a smooth, silky mouthfeel from start to finish. So, all good. Cheers indeed. So, this is. Um, as I said before, a seasonal beer. Um, uh, what are the metric I don't think I mentioned earlier? It's 5.5 uh, alcohol by volume, so not a terribly potent beverage. Um, but so when you could easily enjoy, you know, two of these without really feeling a whole lot of uh, deleterious effect. And a future reference. I need to actually look at the bottle in the future. You see, I utilized a nice little, like, you know, snifter style glass. 
According to the bottle, right there, says drink with a pint glass. My bad. Sorry about that left hand, but uh, fine taste in beer nonetheless. So, uh, again, seasonal offering. This was bottled, I believe, uh, looks like January by the looks of this. So, um, yeah. Should be able to find this in stores relatively easily now and uh, give it a go. I think it's worth it. You know, like the other left hand nitro offerings that they put out. So, until next time, this is Sean. Cheers.